Hello. It's time once again to share the stories and drawings that you've sent to us here on Read, Write, and Draw. I'm Vincent Price, and I've got some letters here that I'm sure you'll enjoy. But first, let's read the beginning of today's story. Miss Trey. Every summer, Mary, Will, and their parents spent the month of August in a cabin by a lake. Over the years, the children had heard the stories about Miss Trey from other children who'd vacationed here. She's a witch, one child had said. I saw her looking for a toadstool, said another. I think she rides on a broom, said a third. Don't listen to those stories, Papa said. She's just an old lady who lives alone, added Mama. But the children weren't convinced. One day Mary said, I dare you to go up on her front porch. I dare you back, said Will. Miss Trey's cabin was not far from theirs. That afternoon they walked up the dark dirt road that led to Miss Trey's. And the sky darkened with rain clouds and there was a rumble of thunder. Tall fir trees cast giant shadows. Miss Trey's cabin suddenly came into view. Do you think the rumors about Miss Trey are true? Well, Will and Mary are about to find out. Let's read the ending from Kiri Vinson of Augusta, Georgia. Will and Mary walked up to the cabin and knocked on the door. Miss Trey opened it. Just in time for supper, Miss Trey replied. Will turned red and Mary started shaking. Come in, come in, please, asked Miss Trey. Will asked Miss Trey if they were her supper. Then Miss Trey's eyes started watering, and Mary felt very sad. Miss Trey replied that all she was having was meatloaf, and the whole rumor was ended forever. Poor oh, Miss Trey. All those mean things said about her, and all she was having was meatloaf. Well, I hope she made a good meatloaf. Good ending, Carrie. And here's her drawing. There it is. It's a log cabin for sure. Curtains at the window. And the big, tall trees. I can't see any people. Well, it's time to go. And in a way, I'm glad. Scary stories give me nightmares. Boot. I'm Vincent Price. Join me next time for more great stories and drawings on Read, Write, and Draw.